plus natural intelligence equals enhanced intelligence, right? Or attachment, right, from, you know, uh, um, society's uh, reactive programming, right? Because most of the things in the world are created and generated to program ideas, thoughts, emotions, feelings, and desires into the human mind and into society. So if we look at, yeah, most people should stop smoking weed. Um, see, the, the thing about the, the weed industry, of course, is based on capitalism. And around the weed industry, what well, weed makes you more creative. And then we find out weed don't actually make you more creative. It just makes you feel creative. Now, nobody's going to go back and talk about that. Weed does decrease your memory. But ain't nobody go talk about that when they talk about smoking weed. Weed can increase, right, anxiety. Tucky Blunt, I know you I know you got the blunts for sale, but I'm just giving you the science, right? While smoking weed, we can decrease testosterone in men. Now this is not this is not something I'm making up. So if you can go disprove this science, I you know invite you to please make a video and give a breakdown. What is the side of the medicinal side of cannabis is the cannabis, which is the CBD. But we can increase right um, and exacerbate certain mental illnesses and issues within people. Right, so you can have split personality issues and bipolarism and schizophrenia and smoke weed, right? And it can enhance that because what it does is while you smoke weed, you feel like it's suppressing it, right? But you're actually never dealing with it. So in your sober state, you become a different person. So there's many people I know that off weed, they cool as hell. Like their mind is clear. Then when they start smoking, I notice a bipolar split in their personality, right? And it's been proven that we can increase anxiety. So people end up smoking weed to try to decrease the anxiety, not realizing the very thing that they're using is actually creating an increase in anxiety. But it's making you feel like it's not there for a moment, right? And this will create over-dependency and over-reliance, right, on, on smoking weed. <laughs> you know? So, um, you know... And that's a good case. So if everybody reacts differently based on the cannabis system, but everybody don't react differently, a mass general population reacts the same because the body is generally the same, right? Within everybody, there's a few different customizable differences within people, but the way chemical reactions happen within the body are similar to the same, right? Now, Dr. Wesley has a great book on the chemicalization effect of marijuana. That I suggest everybody weed, right? I mean, <laughs> read. I said weed. <laughs> I suggest everybody read. But I've never met a man or woman, right, who smoked weed and they became better. I just never met that in my life, right? So for me, if you got a habit that's not making you greater and better, right, then what is it doing for you? You know what I'm talking about? So that's all. You know, like you, everybody can do whatever they want to. You know, but you have to know when you're programmed to do it, right? And it becomes such a social thing, right? Rather than, you know, a person may smoke a blunt once in a while. You feel me? Now, people got to smoke it every single day. So anything you depended on, right, you addicted to. <laughs> and some people can't stop if they wanted to. And not only just because of the biological effects that it has, but more so the social effects, that a lot of people relationships are connected to smoking, right? So you get around, what you doing, bro? Let's smoke. You know what I'm saying? What we got going on? Let's smoke. You outside, people light up the blunt. Y'all walk away. Y'all smoke. Y'all talk. Y'all bond over weed. You feel me? So that's what it is. So somebody say, we helped. What does we help? That's the question I want to know. What does it help? Like, if, if you're not great enough to be able to deal with reality without weed, then you're not great. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all ain't had a high-level conversation. Y'all just have high conversations. Ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> and it makes you feel like it's deep. But it's not actually deep. So I'm not saying you got to stop smoking weed, but I'm just saying look at the reality of all things. It's like, like liquor. Liquor is a natural depressant. 
So if, if you over depend on anything, you're addicted to it, and it's a weakness. It's not a strength. That's it. So, you know, I understand we live at this time in reality to where human beings are fed based on their desires, right? And it gets people to smoke. And during this time, like somebody said, it helps you deal with reality. How? Did it give you more money? Did it make you more powerful? Did it, did it increase your ownership? Did it create better relationships within your life? Did it, did it uh, help the family bonds? Did it change reality? You can't deal with reality, right, unless you learn how to master yourself. Because that's what it is. It's easier for me to deal with a person that's smoking all the time and master them versus a person that's sober-minded and have full control of their mind, their vices, their ideas, their desires, their feelings. I'm just saying, so some of y'all high right now, and I ain't trying to blow you high, but I'm just helping you think. When we go into, like, if, if, if you know, everybody knows this, and I know that's why, you know, they don't be inviting me to certain things. I just like saying the truth on things. You feel me? Like, I've seen we do more harm than help. That's it. Like, take the CBD, the cannabinoid, and utilize the health. But the moment you put fire to a chemical... Right, the moment you put fire to it, it changes the chemical structure and the reaction of it. So that's the issue is that we smoke weed. Right? Ancients didn't smoke it the way people smoke it today. And it's not even the same weed. People was getting so goddamn they weren't getting as high as y'all getting today. <laughs> they weren't smoking the same thing, y'all. Y'all got cookies and rock. This shit damn near crack. Somebody said I didn't crack, do more harm to help. Duh, that ain't the statement. <laughs> I don't think nobody ever thought that crack was good for you. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's one of the bigger issues is that we like to get high. THC is the component that's going to get you high. The cannabis is the component that's going to help with the anti-inflammation. It can be a natural uh, neuro uh, regenerative, right? So, you know, you got to understand the differences of what you're doing, man. So, yeah, when, when you put the fire, shout out to Mike Rasheed in the building. When you put the fire to it, you feel me? That's when it makes a change. So the smoke inhalation is the difference between the natural derivative of CBD and taking the health components of weed. Or marijuana, I should say. So, you know, that's that's not to discount the plant, but... Most of y'all don't have any knowledge on herbs. You think the the benefits of, you know, herbal medicine stopped at cannabis? You know how many plants that are in the world? You got mushrooms that you can use, lion's mane, shaga, right, reiki, um, you know, uh, um, what's my favorite one? Um, the one they just made the show about, man. Damn, I forget the name at the moment, but... Yeah, I would rather you use mushrooms, and I ain't even talking about just the psychedelic mushrooms, because some of you all could probably benefit from low doses of microdosing, right, over a controlled period of time, like, you know, once every two months, maybe, or three months, or, or a trip every year versus weed. And the reason I say that is because it really helps you detach from reality and reset the brain as a therapy. Yeah, cordyceps. So what I'm saying is, uh, look at your behavior, man. Think about it for, at this point. If it increases, if you have, it can have an increase on stress, decreased memory, decreased testosterone rates. You understand me? Um, these are not good things. And it can help exacerbate, you know, um, mental health. Let me say this from experience. I used to sell weed. Smoke weed. I was the best drug. Dealer. I mean, weed dealer. I ain't gonna call myself a drug dealer. I was the best weed dealer on the block. <laughs> ain't that right, Steve? I uh, easily. He probably hot. <laughs> what up, Mike? What's good, baby? That's good. Man, blessings, blessings and in, the, in an abundance. <laughs> yes, sir. What's your, what? What's, what's, what's your uh your your pick? Rooms <laughs> or weed? Neither. Oh, okay. My pick in terms of what though? 
Uh, I would say uh, a lifestyle enhancing, um, a lifestyle it be, enhancing. It would be tool. psilocybin. And reason reason being is because I understand the right. mechanism of that compound as well as cannabis. And cannabis inherently, I know people love it, but it is a depressant, right? It depresses the, the uh, nervous system, and I need mine to be on point. You know what I'm saying? Whereas uh, psilocybin, it doesn't really have an effect on the nervous system. It binds to the two-way serotonin receptors, which in inherently makes one happy, uh, creative, reflective, things of that nature. So I think that that would be a more beneficial one. And like you were saying earlier, there's a lot of data on it helping people with depression, PTSD, um, people who are not responsive to like antidepressant drugs and stuff like that. That's what psychedelics was used for, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, you know, to help people with that. And the crazy thing about it, the reason why it's not all the way in Big Pharma yet is because when they would do uh, um, therapy with somebody with like LSD or psilocybin, it's like two deep sessions and they good for six months. Whereas Big Pharma, you need them pills every day. Yeah. You run out. More, you know what I'm saying? So right. That right, right. But that's the thing about I, I say people who smoke marijuana. There's no controlled scheduling of like testing themselves to see like I smoke one day. Okay, is there benefits of I feel better for the next week? No, that's not what's happening. So it's the same thing. Like nobody drinks liquor right. and expect right. the benefit from it, right? So you know, alcohol itself can be a natural disinfectant, right? Like, you can use it as a pain suppressant, right? But that doesn't mean, you know, you smoke social. I mean, you drink socially and expect benefits from it. So what we talk about is the THC, which is the component of people like to feel high, right? They nobody, 99% of people are not smoking for any health reason whatsoever. They're doing it socially so that they can feel high. That's it. And and so the science to you all don't even matter. So you shouldn't even bring up the science because that ain't, that ain't the reason you spoke in the first place. Right. They got nothing to do with no studies, no, no THC, no receptor <laughs> binding, none of that. <laughs> you, you just want to get high. The only time you bring that up is when somebody trying to say something. Right, you got to right, remember right. an article got, you got heard. You. <laughs> nah, it's real, man. And it's like somewhat of an escape, like cannabis. And, you know, I just never had that. And look, no knock to it, you know what I mean? And I know people are going to be they're yeah, gonna say, like, saying, it's natural, it want, like, it's natural right. from the earth. But so is cocaine, like, so is heroin. Like, all these things is natural, you know what I'm saying? Meaning that it's beneficial. Yep. But look, for those who can take it and still be productive, kudos. That's not my, not my thing, but, but I do. Right. But to play God's advocate for some of the people that do take it for therapy, they do take it for pain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's a suppressing of pain. You know, it's like it's, we just like a True. a band aid because it doesn't cure anything. And I think that's the the thing. Like you can smoke weed for twenty that's plus right. years and nothing so I wanna, is cured. I want to address something somebody said. <laughs> and so they it's said like they suppress the stress. We should not suppress stress. <laughs> we should deal with stress. People that can't handle right. stress are weak people. You know what I'm saying? And we gotta learn how to deal with stress properly. You feel me? You can't. Right. right. And that's why after you sober and it, how it comes down, you have more stress and more anxiety. Right? Because it's suppressing it. You know what I'm saying? You're not dealing with the cause and the root of it. So therefore, these reasons why you smoke are also the reasons why you continue to have the same right. problems because you're not dealing with the root of it. You're constantly trying to suppress it, right? And so nothing changes unless you go through the process, right? Of okay, what is the process? What what? For me, I always have to find the root of my stress or anxiety. So I'm like, okay, maybe I, I'm spending too much blue light. I got too many problems going on. I haven't spent enough time in nature. You know what I'm saying? I ain't stopped to meditate. I ain't eat right or work out. So I'm gonna go to the root of these things. I'm not gonna say, well, damn, I'm a little stressed. Let me smoke. Cause that's just go suppress it, and then when the high comes down, damn, I'm still stressed. Why? Because I suppressed it for just a mild, a mild period of time. So you got to deal with reality. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the thing. 
we are dealing with a time where, you know, it's about resilience, right? Um, this is a time of like the prevailing emotions is like there's there's anxiety in the air because of everything that's going on. Right. And so what you want to do is increase your emotional resilience, right? So that you can decrease your anxiety and your stress. So it's going to take more things to even make you stress or give you anxiety. Right. But if you never learn how to deal with the lightweight things, then you can never pick up heavyweight things. Right. So that goes to the concept of working out. When I go to the gym at first, I wasn't hitting the place that I was hitting. Right. And then I had to go from mild to heavy to help build up my muscles. So next time I go in there, I can increase the load and I need that load just to feel the, my body to feel the stress to grow and have hypertrophy. Right. So a lot of you all aren't growing because you're not utilizing you know, or going through the process of dealing with the stress the right way to build yourself up. So now lightweight things mm -hmm. are constantly stressing you out, right? And you're supposed to be on heavyweight things by this time. Me, only, it got to be heavyweight to to, to, to to even get through my aura field. You know but, what I'm saying? Like, it's even like, like bro, you're you, you hitting something powerful, a, nail, a powerful nail on the head. It's like this. Life is literally what you make it, right? You will encounter stress. Here's the thing, me and my brother Emil was talking about this the other day. He said, do I think that society is getting weak and we're falling off and declining because we have so much luxury, we have so much technology, we have things making life easy? I said, no, I don't think so. I'm gonna tell you why. It's always only a small group of people that advances things, right? And that small group of people understands this. We have cell phones, we don't have to memorize things, we have Uber Eats, you don't got to go hunt. We got all of these things that makes life easy. And that's the nature of man. We all, we will always find ways to make life easier. If we didn't, we still live in forests and trees and shit. You know what I'm saying? So knowing that, we have to counterbalance that by doing things like going to the gym, doing things like fasting, doing things like meditating, uh, reading, like doing, we have to keep ourselves strong and powerful so that we don't get weak and atrophy spiritually, physically, you know what I'm saying? All these different ways, you know what I'm saying? So, but right. a lot of people are gonna fall off and it goes back to this universal law, this survival of the fit, you know what I'm saying? So not everybody's gonna make it. Right. Information is people nope. like yourself, people like myself, people like trappers, a lot of people all around the world giving the information on what people need to be doing to right. counterbalance the, 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 the lushness, the luxury, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, so we don't Right. And, and and I want people to understand like if you if you like believe in plant medicine, understand that there are tens of thousands of millions of plants out there. Why stop at just weed and when you want to understand the true miracle of Mother Nature? Right? And so you may be stressed because your testosterone levels is low. <laughs> right. Right. So what what are you doing towards that? Right, like men can't focus when yeah. we have low testosterone levels. It increases our anxiety. It's harder for us to think and nice. generate ideas. So, and then we That's decreases it. testosterone That's while it. smoking it. Fine. Right, so your levels that, decrease. They don't hear so that. you, they don't want to hear that. So, so you become, you know, quote unquote, less of a man, if you will. Right, while you participate, you. Come on, y'all know cats do not become more manly or why they on weed. They be all soft hand. They want to eat. <laughs> they, eat well, I tell eat. you, man, cats be hobby. Yeah, you be, you become <laughs> like the, the the spoiled <laughs> girlfriend. Bon I don't want to bon. do nothing. This, this the yeah, most, so. the most technologically advanced thing we have on this planet is right here. Our mind, our mind, and our perspective right. is the something. antidote. Is the cure to disease right here but people got to use it we got to use it nobody's using it nobody's reading nobody's using chat gpt it's so we got so many resources at disposal so many Man, resources at disposal. there's no reason for anybody to like so much knowledge you should not be sick you should not heal yourself you should know how to keep right. yourself in a preventative uh, uh space to not get sick you, you feel me anything you want we can we can do with the alchemist right. you know what i'm saying and so much every day we got more information right. at our disposal and people keep talking about you disagree it don't you can disagree with truth all day long it doesn't change the facts 
You understand? You only disagree because of a cognitive bias, right? You don't want it to be true. So therefore, you don't. You want to do what they do, which is called ignore, which is the substance of ignorance, right? I will ignore the facts, so therefore I can live in my ignorance because it feels blissful to you. Not knowing on the other side of accepting the truth is true enlightenment. And then you go feel even better, but you never felt this good. And so you maintain 50%. You maintain in 60%, but we trying to help you get to 100%. That's different. You know, like I, I ain't got to smoke weed for shit. And I'm sure my, my if what you talk about stress, right. my shit probably 100% higher than yours, but right. my emotional resilience is 1,000% higher. Man, <laughs> like, people got to like, understand this. Like things that... Men, fellas, I'm talking to the men right now. Divorce yourself from the notion that you need happiness, fun, things. Focus, that's it, and that should give you bliss and joy, right? Because if you if you if you spend a, have a life of like much fun, fun, I need I need to feel good. You're gonna be soft because most life, life man, you're gonna be soft. Right. Like, I've been in a lot of situations where it's like, it is what it is. Let's deal with it. When other people crying, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just broken down. You never want to be in that space. You got to divorce yourself from the idea of, like, I need this to make me feel good. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all of that shit. You know what I mean? We got to be sturdy. We got to be sturdy. Right. Like, like T said, resilient. Emotionally resilient. Physically resilient. Financially resilient. You got to fortify all of those areas. You know what I mean? Somebody say, it's, l listen, I would smoke weed if it was good for me. It I'm was, just going to be honest with you. I would smoke a blunt a day You feel me? if I felt like it was an enhancement of my life. I would be I would be smoking right. I would be wake up, waking, baking. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I'd be high all day long if it was one of the things that enhanced my progress yeah. on a daily basis. You know what I'm talking about? So I don't, I'm not doing it because it's some religious thing or none of that shit. I don't, I'm not a spooky individual. I'm going to take... I'm going to take something that's beneficial all day long for me. But, see, my thing is right. I like things that enhance my brain. You know what I'm saying? I like right. things that, that keep me at a higher level. You feel me? I don't want nothing that suppresses anything, nothing that generates my lower-level thoughts, nothing that brings out my lower inhibitions, none of that. I want everything that you know, keeps you me know, on my crown shot the time. You feel me? I, the most so, that's the difference. is fasting, <laughs> meditation, prayer, uh, getting sleep, a good amount of sleep, training, all of these things have me just in, in complete, like, uh, 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 like a singularity for myself. You know what I'm saying? That's all I need. Personally, that's all I need. Right there. That's it. You feel me? Everything else is, is an addition. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to go, I want to go, um, uh, do a trip, uh, in about a month, not, not, uh, early summer, this shit with the plant medicine. You know what I'm saying? But that's, that's yeah, shit. I'm yeah, so yeah. with you. What are we doing ayahuasca? That's, that's, but that's not something that I would. That's not a tactic that I would employ on the regular. You know what I'm saying? It's just a yeah. Me either. I listen. It's the mm -hmm. same thing with like like Snoop smokes weed, right? And he tried to smoke and he couldn't. He couldn't. He tried to stop, but he really he couldn't. You know what I mean? He addicted to it. Like he probably smoked <laughs> fifty blunts a day. So when people use, but he also has so many multi-millions, right, that it's completely different than somebody who needs right. to be proactive on a daily basis. Right. Yeah, when they smoke weed, it makes them lazier. He got people that keeps his schedule. You know what I'm saying? He got people that cleans his house. He got deals that's going to keep coming right. in because of the work that he put in. So if it ain't increasing your work ethic, you know what I mean, making you more focused and organized right. and resilient on a daily basis, then you shouldn't be taking something that's, that's increasing your chances. Somebody, of success somebody in life. said those drugs is witchcraft. Like I guess they talking about psychedelics. Listen to this. Hit, hit, hit me out. First of all, you gotta understand are some of the highest skill sets that one need during this time to take advantage right. of the time right. that they living in. You know what I'm talking about? 